Hello listeners and welcome to the second program in our series, Let's Learn Computer Studies, which is produced for grade 9 learners and anybody else who has an interest in the subject. My name is Jean Drenichka and today we will learn about data communication. Please have a pen and notebook ready so that you can make notes of the important points. Every second a text is sent from one device to the next device. How does this happen? I hope today's program will shed a little light on how data is being transferred from one device to another device. At the end of this program, you should be able to define the term data communication, distinguish between receiving and sending devices, list the hardware and software needed for communication, and describe how data is transmitted and received. Uh, hi Frida. Why are you so happy? Hey Monica. Well, I'm excited because we are going to learn about data communication today. Really? What is so exciting about that? I'll learn about how my data is being transferred. Let's go to class. It's time. Good morning, class. I hope we all did research on the definition of data communication, right? Yes, ma'am, we did. Okay, Frida, can you tell the class about your findings? Okay. When we are talking about data communication, we are referring to the electronic transfer of data, instructions and information system from one location to another. Very good, Frida. All right, class, that's a good way to start our discussion for today which is the data communication. We are going to learn how communication systems work and what is needed for the communication system to take place. Uh, Ms. Aliazar, is data communication referring to the way we communicate on your smartphone? Yes, exactly. And who can explain to the class what is needed or the items involved in a communication process? What items are required for communication to take place? Miss, can I try? Yes, you can. First, you need a sending device, a communication channel, communication devices and receiving devices. Uh, but miss, I don't understand. Can you explain in detail? Yes, Monica. What Frida explained is correct. Those are the elements of the process of data communication. Starting with the sending device, these are the devices that give an instruction to transmit data instruction or information to the communication devices. And once the instructions are received by the communication device, the communication channel carries the analog signal to the next communication device in order to convert the analog signal to digital signal. And finally, receiving devices receive the digital signal from the communication channel which is the instruction or information from the communication device. And note that the communication device is the one to connect either the sending or receiving devices to the communication channel. Oh my goodness. So if I use my phone to call or send SMSs to my friend, that is the sending device. And for other SMS to reach to my friend phone, it needs to go through the communication channel, which will connect my phone in order to reach my friend's phone, which is a receiving device. Exactly. Um, ma'am, can you please give us an example of each device? Okay, Frida. Sending and receiving devices can be laptops, desktop computers, smartphones. Communication channels are telephone lines, satellites, and communication devices can be modems. And do not forget that apart from hardware, you need software programs. For example, sending an email, you need to have an email program such as Gmail or Hotmail or Yahoo. Oh, today's lesson was the best. This is what we do every day on our phones and computers. Of course, Frida. Well, to sum up today's lesson, let's look at what we covered. When talking about data communication, we are referring to the electronic transfer of data, instructions, and information systems from one location to another. A sending device 
This is the device that gives an instruction to transmit data, instruction or information, such as laptops, desktops, computers and smartphones. Communication channels are there to carry the signal, such as telephone lines or satellites. A communication device is the one to connect either the sending or receiving device to the communication channel, such as modems. The receiving device is a device that accepts the data, instruction or information, such as laptops, desktops, computers and smartphones. This program was written by Martha Eliasa. Until next time, take care. This program was brought to you by Namcol with funding from the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture and the Commonwealth of Learning.